just before the free practice session begins, let's take a quick look at the Drivers' Championship. Michael Schumacher is leading the Drivers' Championship and going for back-to-back -back victories here at Interlagos. Hakkinen, second. Coulthard, third. Well, that covers the drivers. Let's take a quick look at the constructors next. Ferrari share the lead of the Constructors' Championship with McLaren. Stewart are second. Williams are third. Located within the southern suburbs of Sao Paulo, the bumpy Interlagos circuit consists of two very distinct sections. The fast outer section combines two very long straights with fast sweeping turns, whilst the technical infield contains some very slow corners that demand absolute precision and leave no room for driver error. Well, it's been two weeks since our incident in Australia, and here we are now at Interlagos, a track that I always loved watching before I got into Formula One. Always love seeing the cars roll up the hill, and uh, now I'm quite excited to get to drive. Um, really worried though, I've seen forecasts, I've seen reports that we might end up having a very wet race. I mean, when it rains here, it really pours, so I'm hoping that isn't the case. Um, the purpose of this session is I'm going to drive this out there, get my confidence back a little bit, kind of get back into the car. Obviously, there was something wrong with the setup last time for it to snap like that, even if I were, you know, I was being a little bit aggressive myself, but. I need to really get back into how the car feels and get it to a comfortable point where we can actually start developing a nice setup. Obviously the team wasn't too happy that I put the car on the wall in the last race. They're happy that I'm alright but not happy that I took the car out of the race and obviously been discussing with them and they are now expecting a finish from me this race and I really do need to deliver so like I said this is going to be a session of practice, of confidence building and hopefully of finding speed. That was a really fantastic first practice for me actually, it was the first time on the track driving around, really enjoying it. The setup we put on the car as a baseline has been doing very well, We're just making minor tweaks now to gearing and stuff like that. That will be done hopefully in time for me to get out for a little bit of practice of practice too. But we um we ran four fastest in the first session, so obviously not much news changing here. Um, you can see though, obviously uh, I've got Dickie telling me in my right ear that the track is going to be wet for this session, so it's going to give us a good... Um, opportunity to test out you know the wet track and how that feels in the setup and then we can try and find one that kind of complements the both it's very hard getting a decent setup around here as it is because the nature of the track we have you know the really fast first sector which i love by the way very fun to get right and then the medium sector which is all very technical and not where this car shines so much at the moment although i don't let the media hear that or i'll be beaten up savagely by my uh by my team boss mr prost himself so um yes hopefully we'll uh find something good Well, here we are again then in qualifying. A nice uh, night's sleep last night after all our testing. Everything was fantastic. Did a little bit of testing this morning and now obviously in the driver's seat. And I'm really looking forward to doing this. We've had a strong car all weekend and I really think I'm up for a decent position. I'm aiming at least for a top 10. I really want to beat Jana as well. Show him that I do mean business in this team. The only reason I kind of beat him last time, I say beat, I did more laps than him before I crashed. Is that he had an electrical issue on the grid. So this time we're going to go out there, balls to the wall. As I said in the uh, last time we went round, and just just do our best, and I really think we're capable of a top ten. I don't know what to say. I mean, I've kind of calmed down from yesterday now after getting this result, but fourth in my second Grand Prix in the grid. <laughs> Fantastic. I'm, I'm really looking forward to this race now. Yano again, quick. He qualified sixth, so both the trust and the points at the start. That's really awesome news, but I, I wonder how decent our race pace is compared to our qualifying pace. We really had everything turned up to maximum. 
you know, on the straight I was almost topping out and sick without any sort of slipstream at all. Really max gearing, everything was as maximum as it could be. I mean I'm kind of trying I'm trying to calm myself down uh, still and it's not working. So hopefully this race will be okay. Hopefully I'll be able to keep it together. I'm still aiming for a top ten. A points position will be fantastic, but I know getting a good start here is difficult. And uh, it's not just about getting a good qualifying position, it's about the race. And the, the conditions here can change at any time. It was raining just, you know, just in warm-up just a couple of hours ago. It's thankfully dried out since then, so we are on the groove tyres, on the hard tyres, and hopefully it will be all right. I'm going to try for a one-stop. Um, I'm pretty sure we can do it, and I think it would be good to have a different strategy to those up front. So, fingers crossed it all comes off okay for us. Hello there. Welcome to Brazil for round two of the 1999 FIA Formula One World Championship. The weather, as so often is the case here, is just wonderful. Schumacher first. Coulthard second. Mika Hakkinen third. The Prost driver performed brilliantly in qualifying to line up fourth. Rubens Barrichello, fifth. Jano Trulli couldn't quite match the pace of his teammate. He starts sixth. Schumacher, seventh. Zanardi, eighth. Giancarlo Fisichella, ninth. Wurtz, tenth. Villeneuve, eleventh. Heinz Harald Frentzen failed to get anywhere near the pace of his championship rival, the Prost driver. Eddie Irvine, 13th. Hill, 14th. Genet, 15th. Herbert, 16th. Alexi, 17th. Ricardo Zonta, 18th. Pedro de la Rosa, 19th. Luca Badoa, 20th. Pedro Diniz, 21st. Tora Takagi, 22nd. Here's when things get serious now. I'm looking at the back of David Coulthard on the grid. I can see Michael Schumacher hacking this next to me. Barry Keller's behind me. And so is my teammate. And I've got to lead them away. I've got to try and get a good start. Belts are tight. Hands device on. Making sure that's definitely okay after the last accident. Want to make sure in case it happens again I'm alright. And yeah, let's do it. Put it in gear, just watching the lights. One light, two, three, four, five. Rolling backwards slightly, and oh, a bad start. Like a bit of Austin Trudy's passing, Barry Clark's passing, both of the Williams are passing me. Oh, awful start. Wow, Williams there, having issues it seems. Back down to seventh place from the start. I'm just not quite used to getting good starts and oh the car is heavy. The car is very heavy. Looks like we've ended up actually gearing it too short. But we get it down a bit in the race just in case, but it's like we've shot ourselves in the foot a bit. The car whipping all over the place on cold tires. Ah, oh, kicking myself for that start. Could be up in front of Barrichello and truly, but now I'm down in seventh. Wow! Sonali super slow into there, I know you ran into the back of him, luckily. I was watching these corners, so frustrating. And cold tyres, just want to get on the power and you can't. Shooting up the hill now and then breaking hard again, trying to get my turn in right car under steering. Oh! That was so close to us being a massive moment, and the car is still not warm yet. Come on, how is Trudy's car so much better than this up there on the mine? Perks of being the number one driver, I guess. Still on the race, though. Oh, it's Max Revs. Ah, oh, I'll break myself for turn one. Oh, come on, I want that point. 35 lap race round here. So a long way to go and a lot to play for. I feel like I've given the car way too short, and that's one of the Williams having a look at me, just managing to. 
friends and gave me so much stick after us for earlier. I thought I might beat him in the next race and I'm doing that so far although we're nowhere near into the race yet to say I'm actually beating anyone. Can I get back onto Sanadi? Come on car. Car facts are great in qualifying but with fuel it's just nothing. A bit better into this lap. We have to kind of feed the car in and let it roll through before getting on the power. Being a bit easier through here this time. Kind of scared myself a bit last time. Williams all over the back of me. Looks like Hansel must have damaged himself. Dicky, did he damage himself? God, I was bloody on the back of Coulthard and starting a bloody race now. Look at me. Come on. Let's hope Trudy's car doesn't let go this time. He's going to score some points at this rate, and we need that. God, Ralph, so fast. I can just take a peek of the crowd and doing that. It's always odd seeing a massive crowd come here to see us race. Whenever I see a British flag, my heart swells. A very rare here in Brazil. Ralph has got the inside from my mistake, but I just managed to cover him again. I feel like we're a bit closer than we were before to the guys in front. We were so quick to get up to our top speed, and then there's just nothing. Oh, I'm breaking so hard. Turn one, there you go. Threading it through. There's a very specific groove of the road you have to hit. Just really gentle on the front of that, they're very easy to get the car loose and get the car loose, it's bound to be a massive accident. I don't really like those to be honest. They're scary and they hurt. Car slipping a bit there. What I'd give for traction control right about now. My bloody road car has it, why can't this have it? I feel like I'm definitely getting a bit closer. I can see fifth, I can see Yano, that's two points. Even better if I can get past Anali. And that's three points for us, three points for Prost. Oh, sliding wide again. The drafts are all over me. Since the acceleration we have, it's just a little bit too strong for him. Schumacher doing pretty much my qualifying time. He was so much faster in qualifying than me. Two seconds, almost. That's what it felt like anyway. I can see, thank you, Dicky. You have to be so gentle on the brakes through there, the car just wants to lock up and go wide, you can't let it. I always get to about 90% throttle through there just to feel comfortable doing it that way. Doesn't harm us too much in this climb. Looks like Zanardi's Zin having a go, truly. Oh, come on, Yano. God damn it. Oh, I've not Williams are fast. Puts Yano down just to, just to a point. I think I, I feel like we're getting closer, I really do. Oh, that's not going to help. Yano having a look. Oh, be careful, Yano. I'm picking up some of the sits room now. Can't do much with it because of my gearing. Go on, Yano. Oh. 
Did you hit him there? I'm not bothered about Ralph at the moment. Ralph's got Ross in front of me. The guy's looking so aggressive. Nice. Good job, Yano. When you're fighting a slow jump, I'll have to I mean, to get right in the back of the scenario. I might be able to make a move into turn one if I can just stay on the back from right now. I can't, the car's pushing too much at the front. So we just couldn't get out on the setup. I think he's stepping on the front right out of there. Yeah, it's now rocketing away. Just running out of gear. If I had a bit more, I'd be able to challenge efficiently. Come on, I can smell the points. Speeding. Just imagining everyone at home cheering me on. Can't think of that too much right now though. I'll try and focus on the task at hand. Oh, I'm going a bit wide there. Ralph almost had a look at me. It's like Eddie Irvine, I just saw my mirrors. They're coming through in that second Ferrari. Seeing people coming up in my mirrors. Who is that? I think it's Jean and Eddie. Uh, Alex was still out there. But closer than we were before. Come on. Come on. Did we go left? Come on, you can do it the same way now. Yes! Back in the points. Come on, let's go. Run away. Come on, Yellow. You've got to go. You can't hang around. Jano slow through there. It's nice to get into my back again. Which I don't want. We've already eight laps in, those eight laps have flown by, just been concentrating on what I've been doing. Dicky, am I allowed to race Jano? Okay, confirm. Up the hill, come on. Not as close to you know, as I was to Alex in the last lap, but we're running a similar setup, so we might get onto the back of him. Oh, I don't know what to do. I got out of that a bit earlier than I would have done usually. Last thing I want to do is touch Giano. You can see the train of cars behind us. It's Desperate to get away. Just going for a gear I haven't got there. Feels like I should have another one. Because I'm so slow for this double right. Oh, look at the inside. Oh, silly of me, we still have both up. Okay, okay, understood. I 
I think we can do it. I think we're close enough. Come on, car. To get right to the red line. Acceleration we can get. I'm going left again. This time it's Shana. I need to be good to him. Breaking desperately hard. And just put it in front of Yano. Back into fifth place. Two points, come on. This time I, I need to try and make a gap to the cars behind me now. Yano's going to have my slipstream, which means he's going to be faster down the straight, so I need to do better in the midsection. A short shift into fifth now, it's better keeping 100% throttle, keeping it pinned through that right hander, left hander, sorry. I'm for the double right where I do have speed over Yano. If only a little bit. Dickie, please tell Yano, not on these slow corners. That's us the same courtesy. And I gave him. Oh no, I go wide, make a mistake, you know, back through. Oh, damn it. I'm back in the switch room again. Sorry, dude, I'm going back through again. I can't afford to wait. Oh, I locked that front left up there for an eternity. I'm so glad we don't have any team orders. Barry Keller is so far ahead now, there's no chance I can catch him. 14 seconds up the road. Doing a drift there, doesn't the car go where it wants to go, not flying too much so it doesn't resist me. Last thing I want is a spin. I'm turning it in nice and slow. Still getting under steer, the front tyre is starting to wear, I feel. And the train behind me is tremendous. Will I even come back out in the fifth place? Have I pitted? It's something I need to think about. I need to get this right this time. That's a lot better. You just step on the throttle when you get it right. Yeah, Yana's not getting set stream. Just looking in my mirrors to see if he's going to have a go. I don't think he's close enough. I think that's a Ferrari going to have a go. And now is that Irvine behind him? Yeah, it is Irvine. I'm just seeing my mirrors. That Ferrari is surely foul, faster than the Prost. Oh. I hope Yana can hold on. Give me some time to try and get away a bit. See the car just not responding the way I want it to through these corners. I'm trying to push so I can escape the cars behind me, but I just can't look at it. It's like a really close fight at the front between the McLaren and Schumacher. I've got the other Ferrari back here. Looks like he's going for an early stop. It's got to be a two stop surely, it's too early for a one stop. Hoping our strategy will pay off. I know he is, Dickie, I can see him. I think Irvine's come in, I can't see behind me. Take okay, confirmation of that, please, Zicky. Let's have unpitted. Looks like everyone's going for the two stops. Are we going to lose out here?
Cool fast we're going around, maybe he's on the same strategy as us. Not too bothered about Toro, thank you. Okay, this is too fast. This is all doing okay, lap times up to 19. Car is weak through the first corner, it really is. Swap shifting twice and then unleashing all the power beneath me. Just say behind me really shouldn't I but I feel so at one of this machine strapped down so low. I barely see over the uh, steering wheel. But all these corners are blind, especially this one. Looks like I'm taking Yana with me which is good. We're both going at a similar pace. Oh, I almost spin, so close to spinning. And that would have been in contact with Yana as well. So could we avoided that. Just took out a little bit too fast and tried to turn in. The back end just did not grip. More than those rears too much. So I just feel vulnerable now. Can't power. You can see again the, uh, the Williams behind us. The way the corner drops away, just is just so hard to get a setup for. I feel like that's why I'm being the call every time I go through there and that and the stupid gearing decision that I made it was completely in my call. I thought it would be okay. Team argued, argued back and I was wrong. Come on, oh, there you go. Nice and tight on the curbs. God, it's still all over me. I wonder I'm holding Yano up now. Keep going wide up. Last corner, I don't really count as the corner of my mind, it's just back to the line from here. Downforce does the rest. How far ahead is Barry Keller now? I'm going to check my... my... read out my wheel very quickly. 18 seconds is still pulling away. I can't do much about that unfortunately. Stewart's just too fast for us. How I qualify them, I'll never know. So I'm just hanging on to the back of me, there's nothing I can do to shake him. No matter what I try. Luckily, I have Truly as my rear gunner. Good job there, Yano. Oh, again, I go wide. Just a four-wheel slide that time. Nothing gripped. Tyres maybe starting to wear. Say so maybe I know they're starting to wear. I can feel it. Just checking how much sure I've got left, about seven laps. Bit of splash at the end. Try to be as smooth as there as possible. Yano is so quick for that. Left hand, I just can't do anything about it. 
Oh, back end nearly broke away from me there. That could have been bad. Just really focusing now. I'm trying to hit every apex. I'm trying to just keep the car in one piece. If I spun the car now, I wouldn't forgive myself. Not after all this effort. I know I've dropped a place, but I realistically thought I'd be in outside of the top 10. Lucky in qualifying to have a big draft all the way up the hill. That's what gave us such a good time. And, um, it's kind of showing, but I'm still in the points. Both me and my teammate. It's going to be great for Prost. Keep him there. Yeah, that's Ralph Schumacher, I think, behind, behind Truly. And that pretty cook Williams. Looks like he's having a look at Yano. Keep him behind Yano. It's like such a different line from the rest of the guys through there. It works for me though, and this car set up anyway. Just grabbing third early to avoid a new wheel spin and unleashing all the power up here, which is very satisfying. Just how quickly you shoot up there. I feel like I'm holding up a bit, but I just caught him last time. I thought, is there a chance to overtake me? He's not taking them. I've got nothing on the radio come through yet, telling me to get out of the way. Hopefully, that'll stay that way. Ruben's still pulling away from us. God, there's something special about that Stuart. That is, I mean, I'm going to lap someone. Oh my god! I'm going to lap someone in F1. <laughs> okay, thanks, Dicky. Come on, get out of the way, Mark. To deviate from my normal line there. Didn't like doing that at all. Looks like Yano and Ralph got held up more than I did. Hey, Yano really got shot with the. Uh, sounds like Schumacher's on the same. Scratchy we are then. I assume that's him anyway. I'll turn in. We're starting to town now and Yana's back on me very quickly. Interesting fight at the front there. Still not focusing on it. That's one of the arrows ahead of us. We're going to lapping some more cars. This is insane. Those two are fighting as well. I think that's Suka Badoa. It must be. I think there's some in front. Very quiet chat, Luca. Experience nonetheless, and very experienced of being lapped as well. So hopefully, he'll know to get out of the way. That arrow doesn't look stable. Okay, I'll inform the pit crew of your instructions. 
kicking in soon. Just getting off, so I wasn't quite sure what Luke was going to do there. Kind of slowed on the line a bit, which is not advisable. So Rubens is going to come in soon, and I'm now being held up by. I'm not sure if that's Tora or Pedro. Going around the outside of him, hopefully he's going to not knock me on the way in. He's still side by side. What are you doing? Don't race me. I'll be talking to Tyler about that afterwards, Dickie. Please get looked into. Put the next lap then, it seems. to edit my that another fuel amount is different I've gone longer than I thought I would I'm well, handing through there it's not how I like to do it but I've got to do it if I'm in there too long I'm going to ruin it that will do it's a nice safe amount of fuel Rubens behind me. Oh, I'm fourth right now. Rubens is behind us on the pit stop. It's such a difficult limit to lie in this. I hope I got there in time. The white line was before I thought it was. Come on guys, get it done quick. Come on. Please no penalty, please no penalty. Phew, okay, so we got away with that. No! 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 I can't believe it. I can't believe it. It's such stupidity. I thought I'd slow down enough. And there goes our points. God damn it! Such a feckin' rookie. I wanted to prove to everyone that I could feckin' do it. I've gone and screwed it up in the stupidest of ways. Hopefully it'll be out before I get in there. I can serve my stop and go. to say I just feel eighth ninth all gone check out the car like you saw a minute ago when I was in here getting the boom penalty come on let's go maybe I just got the limit to at the end there 14th. All I can do is go hard now to the end and try and make it some place. That is. Oh, I just hope Yano can stay in the points. Oh dear, Van Pratt me now. 
tires are cold, but I'm really not in the mood to slow down. Infinitely frustrating, I can't tell you. Heart's pounding now. I'm starting to sweat. I know what I've got to do is try to get that photo together after having something so stupid happen. Nadia in front of me now. He wasn't too far behind me. Maybe I can get back in the back of them. We'll be okay. I'm in 13th at the moment. Possibility of a top 10 maybe still on. Got that corner. Car never wants to turn in for that. I think quick enough to correct it. They're wanting to come round in us again. Looks like there's an Adrian Irvine having a fight, which means they're close to me. Three seconds now. Fight away, chaps. They're coming for both of you. Another car coming out of the pits, I just spotted him going over the rise. Oh, it's just a Minardi. I need to get back onto the racing line like a complete dweeb. So disrespectful. Come on, we gotta catch these guys. Gotta restore some honour. Got two points gone. Losing all my lock there, just for a second. Is that one of the McLarens behind me? Let's grab my mirror. It's definitely not Villeneuve. <laughs> yes, it's second. Get out of the way very soon, don't worry, Mika. Probably thinking, what the hell am I doing here? We started fourth. Why are you 13th? It's kind of a fucking clutch, that's why. Go on, quickly, Mika. Quickly, 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 quickly. Didn't want to do it there. The sound of that McLaren, glorious. Still 13th flow, and that's not going to change soon. Where's Yano? I have the confirmation to where Yano is. Still haven't got it though. There's lots of cars up here maybe. Some lap cars are getting in the way. Oh, Franson, I told you I was going to beat him. I'm going to pass him in the pit so he pick up another position. That's a 12th. A bit too much curb on the way in there. I 
Looks like me having some issues with lap cars. I'm taking the opportunity, sorry. This is Alex and I need to get past him. Diving up the inside of the arrows. Luckily, I managed to get myself out of the blue flat situation. So it resets. I'm out of blood. Being as careful as I can. No! Just as I say that, I spin. Don't hit the wall. Might not hit the wall. I just. I spoke too soon once again. And the work I did to catch Alex is now gone. I can't make that up in six laps. And now Frenson's getting along the back of me. I'll never hear the end of it. Is that Alex there? And I think that's one of the arrows. Oh god, why doesn't the car grip through there? So frustrating. But we are catching Alex hand over fist. He must have a problem. Come on, we can still do this. I can see him now. Put four seconds in that lap. That's just something wrong with his car, surely. See how stiff the car is going through there. The front wheel lifts up. Gapping Hans Harald. not over to it, it's over. I still want that top 10. I risk hustle, but I don't know. The cutting out is making me one step closer. I'm going to go for the dive. Almost force the arrows out my way. I'm probably getting tired of seeing me come through, but I've got to do it if I'm going to continue this chase. myself never even spun here in practice and this is an odd place as well you see the tire tracks there reminding me Doesn't look out for the other side because he's picked up his pace again now. He's been having some issues with the lapped cars, just getting on the curb as we smash the power again. Car is light now. Getting on that curb is a death sentence, we managed to get off it in time. I can, I can almost. I must reach up and touch the spoiler of Alex now. And the arrow is painfully slow on the downhill. Knocking downfalls everywhere. I presume Carl wanted to spin there. Come on! I'm rocking up the hill once more. That's cool fire in front of us. Ferrari, 
Mean that so after one lap less at this rate. Oh, that's trying too hard. My heart sank then. Driving these cars is extremely difficult. And your right foot is a monster. It works both good and bad. Really winging the car into there and the car flying again. Not many laps left now. So close to Alex again. It's time to pick up some system effects to see if this is with that traffic. No. Gets past one of the Minardis very quickly. He feels the need to block me. No idea why he's done that. And he's still in the way. Oh. Like a. I can spare out of the way, I'd be giving him the finger right now. I might just end my opportunity to catch him. Trying to eco every second I can, every tenth, every hundredth. I almost don't care about the points now. This is my only concern is to get past Alex. I think we might just be close enough. We're in the sip stream. Getting dragged along, coming on to the penalty lap nearly. How about right to his gearbox? What is this so fast, a straight line? Are we close enough? Side by side, breaking late. Sinardi breaks later. Just not quite able to get the move done. I'll throw the car over the curbs. And again in the sit stream. It's not close enough. Now Frenson's in the mix as well. He's been Gained a sh How does he gain that much? Almost oh, a wheel on the inside of him there. But Frenson's come out of nowhere. Just nowhere to get past him here and then being held up. A ridiculous amount. Look how much faster Frenson is. I've got to be careful, I don't lose another spot here. Two back of the head, so check the slack drop. It's going to be a drive to the line. Come on! Come on! Come on, you baby! Come on, baby! Come on! Yes! The end of an amazing Brazilian Grand Prix. Here are the final results. Michael Schumacher, first. Akkonen, second. Coulthard, third. Barrichello, fourth. Ralph Schumacher, fifth. Trulli, sixth. The Prost driver, 11th. With the results confirmed, it's high time we updated the Drivers' Championship. Michael Schumacher extends his lead at the top of the Drivers' Championship. Ferrari share the lead of the Constructors' Championship with McLaren. Stewart are second, whilst third place is held by Williams. Well, what can I say? A very up and down race for me. Obviously started fourth from the grid and I was hoping to make something of it points were in my grasp I was in fifth position 
before pitting and then just hit the uh, pit limiter just a little bit too late and ended up getting a drive through penalty or sorry a stop and go penalty very different drive through would have been a lot less harsh I feel but okay and ended up back in 14th position luckily we managed to claw back some places and just took 11th on the line which was heart stopping I can tell you that uh, just getting the top speed there just getting enough to get past Alex at the last stage I'm so so proud and so happy that Jana got his uh, got the team's first point of the year I, I aim to contribute to them you know, as the year goes on but as for now uh, I'm just going to look forward to the next race Oh, <laughs> get smashed into the end. Wow, okay. We'll pretend that hasn't happened. <laughs> <laughs> 